This is the Obama economy, the lowest gas prices in six years, stocks that have tripled while he's been president, unemployment back to where it was before the financial crisis, and a deficit that's been cut by two thirds. If Mitt Romney had won, we might be talking about an economic miracle engineered by a biz whiz who knew just which buttons to push. But this is the Obama economy. It's the best in the world, and the president isn't getting much credit. A lot of Democrats, including the president, don't want to brag about things getting better because it doesn't look too good because some people aren't sharing in the prosperity. The improving economy is lifting the president's poll numbers. For the first time in seven years, a majority of Americans, 51 percent, have a positive view of the economy. But median family income is still where it was in 1995, leaving many feeling like we're living in one America with two economies. Because wages have stagnated, there's still a perception out there, correctly so, that this recovery has benefited Wall Street much more than Main Street. Now Main Street is getting a boost from low gas prices. That could put $140 billion back into Americans' pockets this year. But the president didn't do that. Presidents can't make gas prices go up no, and down. Absolutely not. These are big, big, broad global themes that uh, you know, they're not the gods of Mount Olympus. What the president can take credit for, leading the economy out of the most epic recession since the Great Depression. Obama deserves credit for sticking with a policy that placed a lot of emphasis on the Fed and interest rates, and it, it's worked. You could say that Obama gets credit for staying the course, for not going for radical austerity, which probably would have made things worse. But don't expect streamers and balloons at the White House anytime soon. We should not be taking a victory lap because the world is getting more difficult, and we're going to have to do even better to maintain this recovery. For President Obama, that means more work ahead to protect his economic legacy. Christine Romans, CNN, New York.